Hey everyone, welcome back and happy Sunday. Happy Sunday, fun day, everybody. Okay, so I don't have my camera on because I'm at my parents' house and they are doing a barbecue today. So I felt like with a bunch of small yelling children running around and camera equipment, that probably was not the best idea. So I am doing it like this for today and probably tomorrow. If I do record tomorrow, I'm going to be headed down to uh, Southern Florida tomorrow. So I'm going to be driving at 4.30 in the morning. We'll see how it goes. But in the meantime, we are back to talk about Ariana Maddox's brother, Jeremy Maddox. I know you guys have seen the news. I did a TikTok about it, but you know for damn sure we are going to dive deep. So before we jump in, go ahead, smash that like button. If you're not subscribed, get subscribed. Don't forget to hit that notification bell and let's jump right in. Busted. Done. Got. Man. Thank you to Page Six. Ariana Maddox's brother, Jeremy, has been arrested after getting busted with over 100 pounds of marijuana at a Florida airport. So her younger brother, Jeremy, was busted for having suitcases. Can I tell you how stupid this is? Suitcases filled with marijuana while attempting to fly out of Orlando International Airport. Literally right where I'm at right now. Court records obtained by Page Six just yesterday show. Now, he appeared on his sister's hit show, Vanderpump Rules. He was allegedly carrying a large black soft Tumi suitcase and a large black hard Briggs and Riley suitcase when traveling from Orlando, Florida to Frankfurt Airport in Germany on February 16th. Do you know how stupid this is? However, before boarding his flight, an agent searched Jeremy and his pal, Jonah, searched the bags as there was a large amount of green leafy substance and vacuum sealed bags in the luggage per the court documents. Like, hey, we're about to fly internationally. Why don't we take 100 pounds of marijuana? Nobody's going to smell it. Nobody's going to know. We'll get away with it. A hundred pounds, like, do you guys understand what a hundred pounds of marijuana, uh, listen, I lived in California, I know what a hundred pounds of marijuana, in my mind, I know what a hundred pounds feels like, and I know if you have, like, an ounce of it, again, lived in California, been to the dispensary, if you even have one ounce of it, that's like a, a decent sized Ziploc bag full, so imagine you have that times 16, and that 16 times 100. What? Hold on. We're not done that. We're not done. We're not done. Ay, ay, ay. The agent reportedly recognized the substance was weed due to his training and experience, and then field testing showed it was indeed cannabis. Hmm. Police said that they discovered that 64 bags belonged to Jeremy, weighing a total of 76 pounds of just about. Meanwhile, his friend had, I guess, mm, 31 bags in his possession, weighing about 37 pounds. Mm -mm. This, my friends, not good. Per the court documents, Jeremy and his friend refused to speak to investigators without an attorney present. They were not arrested right away, according to TMZ, and a spokesperson at the Orlando Police Department did not immediately return Page Six's request for a comment or an explanation. However, his friend was ultimately booked in May, and Jeremy was finally taken into custody at his home in Oceanside, California on July 10th and extradited back to Florida. What a moron. A court document filed Wednesday showed that the bartender was still being held in a jail at the time with no bond, and his lawyers were requesting for his release, but it's unclear if this has happened yet. So Page Six reached out to Jeremy and his attorneys for comment, but did not immediately hear back. The Bravo star has been charged with felony trafficking, <laughs> Man. which according to Florida law carries a potential sentence of up to 30 years in prison and a $200,000 fine. Jeremy's lawyers provided in the court filing several letters from close family and friends advocating for their client's good character. And Jeremy and Ariana's mother, Tanya, for instance, praised her wonderful loving son in her note, adding that he is a kind person who always checks in on him. Jeremy has developed a wide circle of very good friends and a network of supportive acquaintances. 
He is both cherished and respected by his peers. I'm very proud of my son's achievements. You know, this is really sad, though. Like, I'm saying what an idiot he is because this is, like, one of those moments where Ariana is on top of the world. Her mom gets to, you know, tune in and see Ariana hosting Love Island and go see her on Broadway in Chicago and then watch her on Vanderpump Rules. And then the other son could be potential, or the other child could potentially be facing up to 30 years in prison with a $200,000 fine. And now, honestly, it makes you, it, it does beg the question. I'm going to say this. It begs the question that Teresa Judice and a few other people, including Jen Shaw, they feel like the hammer came down on them harder because they were associated with reality TV. Well, now this is going to be very highly publicized as far as like the more and more things come out about it, the more and more people are going to write about it, the more we're going to be talking about it. It's going to be on TikTok. It's going to be on page six, all of these major media outlets. And so will they be harder on him because they need to make a point that this is not okay in the state of Florida? Hmm. I'm just wondering. Listen, I'm not the bad guy here. Noticeably missing was a letter from Jeremy's famous sister who was invited to the White House last year after her cheating scandal with ex Tom Sandoval gained widespread media attention. Jeremy revealed on the Vanderpump Rules podcast in March, though, that he and Ariana were no longer on speaking terms after he hugged Tom Sandoval at a party. And however, he then clarified to Us Weekly in April why I haven't been talking to my sister and Scandoval or San Sandoval are two totally separate things. I just want to clarify that I haven't talked to my sister due to me having to stand up for my fiance. Mm. Now, Jeremy then further elaborated, claiming that Ariana had made micro aggressive gestures to his fiance. He then pondered saying, I think that we've just been kind of letting it pass because of course I'm always going to have my sister's back, but I was put in a position where I choose my sister or do I choose the, this person I'm going to spend the rest of my life with? I mean, I hate to say it, but now you might just be spending the rest of, what is he, 30? Can you imagine, you guys? Even if they give it, like, if it's punishable by up to 30 years in prison, I'm telling you, at minimum, if I had to guess, at minimum, he'll probably be sitting in a prison cell for five years. I couldn't see it being less than that. Like, I watch these shows all the time. And listen, I'm not a judge, right? But 30 years. Then again, though, you have some people who are in prison. If you watch these shows, you have some people who are in prison longer for trafficking drugs than they are for, like, assaulting somebody or harming someone or taking advantage of somebody or, you know, like, some of these things people get out earlier for than trafficking which is crazy. I mean, it's it's not crazy. It's the system. But I want to hear what you guys think. Guys, pop off in the comment section, please. If you're not subscribed, make sure you go ahead and get subscribed. Uh, we're not going to have hot, messy topics tomorrow, as you guys know, because like I said, I'll be driving. I'm leaving at 4.30 in the morning. But fear not, we will be back. We'll be back on Friday with Ashley from Reality T. Probably Kim from Bravo Breaking News, depending if she's available. But regardless, we will be back. I love you guys so much. Happy Sunday, fun day. Stay safe out there, and we will see you so very soon. Bye, guys.